All right, class. So now I want to describe to you how are you actually going to make your flip chart and what goes on the front and what goes on the inside. So once you have your flip chart looking like this and it's pasted in your science notebook, uh, for this particular one, we have six total boxes, and uh, thankfully we have six total things that we need to put down on uh, either one of the, any of the particular boxes. So if you look first on the front portion of your flip chart, for each individual uh, square, you're going to take whatever that subject matter is, one of those uh, three reactants or one of the two products, including the arrow, and you're going to draw a picture of whatever that represents. Uh, in other words, if you're dealing with oxygen, you might draw draw something that represents oxygen. You could either uh, draw something breathing in, you could draw it coming out of a leaf, you could draw any uh, source of oxygen, um, but it needs to be something that represents oxygen in uh, some sort of picture form. Then you also need to draw the, the chemical or mo uh, molecular example of what uh, represents the different uh, the different reactants or different products. In this case, uh, the way to represent carbon dioxide uh, from a molecular sense is by saying CO2. All right, one atom of carbon, and one and two uh, atoms of oxygen. Then you also want to write it out as carbon dioxide. Now, once again, this might be something that is a little repetitive. Hopefully, you guys are starting to become really familiar with these. But if you're still kind of struggling to associate uh, CO2 with carbon dioxide and O2 with oxygen. Uh, hopefully this starts to help you uh, to remember those two a little bit better. Then when it comes to what goes on the inside, on the canvas assignment, uh, there is a description associated with each one of these reactants and each one of the products. There's three reactants, two products. There's also an arrow in between. On the bottom of the two, in this case, on this first tab, you're going to draw the arrow. Remember that with, with the photosynthesis reaction, all right, so you're gonna draw your arrow just like I have here. With the photosynthesis reaction, these three ingredients or reactants are going to make these two products, glucose and uh, oxygen. However, it is one of those things, one of those processes that cannot be easily reversed. And because of that, uh, it requires another process that we're going to learn about soon called respiration. Uh, we have to represent this reaction as having an arrow, not an equal sign. So that's what is going to go in the first box on the second row. And then you'll do your other two products, which are glucose or some other type of sugar, and, uh, and then also oxygen. Okay, so that's what's going to go on the outside. And then on the inside is going to be the descriptive sentence uh, that that tells you how those particular reactants or products get used by a plant or even get into a plant uh, to be able to be used for this process. If you have any questions, please reach out. Good luck.